everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games to help busting our wallets. This is episode 284 of Mountain Blade Warband. And so let me check again, see if there's anybody. Uh, I took a break, so I'm back. I'm trying to... Wow, look at that. We have so many castles and towns. Okay, the, is that war with the kingdom of the Rodox? The Pax Imperium has had the upper hand in the fighting, and I think the uh, the Kurgit Kanet is also swooping down and trying to feast on the Kurgit has no no issues with the Saturnid. No, Kurgit has a war with the Kingdom of Rodox. Okay, if you look at the Rodox, oh, they're being they're being hit on both sides. Um, no, that's Nords. <laughs> Wrong faction. Uh, King of Rodox is at war with the Pax Imperium. Uh, is at war with the Kurgit Candidates. The Kurgit Candidates declared war to regain lost territory. The Kingdom of Rodox has, uh, may continue. Uh, so, okay. Um, hmm. So I'm looking at uh, any potential other castles that we can take. Uh, I don't mind. I think, wow. These two castles would be close together. Uh, Dumar, Epeschi. So, oh, these are, oh. Oh, Jalkala, oh yeah. Ah, uh, I think uh, Jalkala would be very, very vulnerable to the Kyrgyz Khanate. Yeah, they can come in through here. Wow, they can come in through our territory and take these. Ah, Jalkala is looks very interesting. Uh, hmm. Yellen is, is gonna be secure. Okay, a little bit secure. Um. Wow, it makes sense for us to actually start eyeing Jalkala. Chalets. Wow, this castle here controls... Whoa, okay. Wow, this is very interesting. We can, once we take Jakala, or this, and this castle... Wow, the Rodoks are just down to Yellen. Ooh, interesting. And, um... We can look at the character location. The counts, right? They are both for... Acadian, let's the, the stupid Munir. <laughs> he is hostile towards you. Yeah, thank you, thank you, dummy. Count Munir is a vassal of King Draveth, king of the Rodax. He now has nothing now. Uh, how about the Akadan? Is a vassal of King Draveth. Where are the Count Ayam has left the realm? Does that mean they died or something? Wow, between them, they're both counts. <laughs> wow, Count Hiwan, Count Hugu. He has no thieves. He has no thieves. Munir, he has no thieves. <laughs> Regas, he has no thieves. <laughs> These are the guys who've been uh, going after us. Rosia Barth. Uh, he is vassal of King Gravet. He is the lord of Kulmar Castle, Maris Castle, Bovran, Glunmar, Dirigen, Chales. Kulmar and Maras Castle. Okay, where where is that? Kulmar and Chel no Kulmar. No, I think it's way back in here. It's got to be way back in here. Maras Castle and. Etrosk, Kumar. Okay, I think we sh we should go and take that. The problem is that 
that would be stretching our ability to control. I think we should take those that are out here. Anyway, right now we need we. What I'm trying to do is beef up our. Uh, yeah, beef up our. The troops that we have. See, our parties are all pretty strong. By granting them a castle and a village at the same time, they get pretty strong. Like stupid Munir. He had a good time with us. I think we gave him a castle and three villages. And he has to go and upset the apple cart. <laughs> okay, I love to see him. No thieves, nothing. Okay, manage the garrison. Ouch, we still we're still hurting. Wow. Uh huh. So uh Nord trained Kurgit horseman, Vigor Footman, Rodok Spearman. Rodok Crossbowman. I think let's move some uh, Rodok Crossbowman. Let's take, say, 20 or 30. No, we have 108. We can take 40. And uh, the rest would be uh, we brought some Kurgits already, right? Uh, horseman, Vigor Footman, uh, Swadian Skirmishers, maybe? Nord Footman, no, not the Nord Footman. Oh, those guys were going to train up. Uh, Swadian, I think we have a lot of Swadians. Caravan Guards, Serenid Huntress, um, uh, Vagor Horseman, Swedish Man at Arms, no. Nord Warrior, no. Uh, Huskarls. Uh, yeah, I think Swedian Skirmishers or Swedian. We, I thought we had Swedians here. Oh, we have 313 recruits. Uh, what time is it now? Uh, what time is it? What time is it? Uh... Oh, it's evening. Okay, I think it's a perfect time. Let's let's bring all um, Swedian uh, let's give all let's bring all Swedian uh, militia. Uh, or we have Swedian recruits, right? Where? Skirmishers. Yeah, Sweden recruits. Let's go take all. And because once we get to uh Because once we get to uh, Veluka, I think we will be uh, we will have gained enough experience that all of them will level up. How much is this? Oh, 157. Okay, let's forget making money now. <laughs> let's just staff up uh, Veluka so that it has a decent enough number of uh, troops. It will not be easy pickings. Yeah, by midnight. So we have gained like fifteen, uh, five thousand worth of experience. So I think most of them would have gone become uh, like eighty-one of them. See, eighty-one can become Swedian mil uh, skirmishers or militia. I think militia. 
and it costs two dinars. Okay. So that's good. So that's a, they're a little tougher, but not really that much. And it doesn't cost us that much. It just doubled it. Okay, dawn of a new day. Save as. Um, because we'll be moving our uh, Swedish knights back to uh, Ox Hall. Two forty-three. So right now it's all about just delivering those guys over. And then I think we will scout out um we'll scout out those two castles uh to the south of us close to Jalkala. I think that's the only one, right? This one. Ibdales. Okay, let's go to the garrison. Yeah, let's give everyone over, give all. So what happened to our, so we can bring our Vega Knights, Swedian Knights, men at arms back. Uh, Vega Knights. What happened to the? Oh, did we bring Swedish sharpshooters? No. Kurgit Nord Swedish Knights. Yes. Oh, they're still. Wow, they're still hurting. Uh. No. Uh, let's. Not this. Let's just Swedish Knights first. We'll be bringing a lot of hurt people with us okay okay and then if we look at our food uh huh, okay no that's we're just all delivery service right now so we'll just again put every all our Swedish knights back here in Oaks Hall. And the Luca will primarily be just, uh, I think, with maybe 300 uh, staff by 300 troops, I think it's not going to be a easy takedown for anyone. Maybe 400. Let's, let's move it to 400. So Nomar was ooh. Okay, let's go to the garrison. Give all. And then let's take more. We got Swedish militia. Let's take more Swedian uh, recruits. That's afternoon. Hopefully, yeah, we'll go to midnight or something. Or if not, we'll just parade around until midnight comes around. <laughs> uh, it's late afternoon. Yeah. Emmer, they're all looted by our own guys. Uh, oh, Fedner is okay. Yes, soldiers are ready to upgrade. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, that's good. So we're in in essence we're doing we're accomplishing something. Um, talk and we will see what they are made of. Uh, so oh, they have crossbows. Okay, even as militia. Oh, that's actually good. Uh, huh. Nothing. Keep moving. 
So they could be, they actually represent good defense. They can actually defend the castle because they are all crossbow. Although I don't think they hurt that much, but wait, again, you know, uh, every group we deliver over is 81. So we were talking about 162 uh, crossbow aimed at you. That's not going to be uh, easy, right? It's, it's going to hurt too. Okay, then we can take over the rest of these Swedish knights. Um, Kurgit horsemen. Uh, Vigor knights. Kurgit lancers. And the Saranid Mamluks. Do we have room for them? Yes, we have room for them. Okay, let's leave. You know what? Let us visit Fedner. Might as well. Oh, there is a bandit camp here. Is there a bandit camp? Yeah, okay. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Sorry. We can actually hunt, hunt bandits here. Uh, manage this village. I think let us build a watchtower. This will cost us... Uh, Jeremus reckons... Okay, raise the arm earlier the time it takes them to loot the increase by 50. Yeah, go on. Let's do that. Go back. Uh, buy supplies. Wow, 58. No. Uh, recruit volunteers. Yes leave okay I think we can invest in uh, in all our villages uh, yeah wow the caravans are actually moving as a caravan that is interesting yeah, I think it would be worth investing in all of them so that uh, when we have to respond, we have that extra 50% time to respond. Think we might even be able to bring another batch over yes another batch over manage the garrison bigger knights Kurgit horsemen nope yep uh, Swedish knights uh, yeah can we bring another batch over Saranid Mamluks. Uh, how many? Uh, let's give thirty-three, and then let us get uh, some more Swedian uh, recruits. Again, hopefully, yeah, they will profit from the uh, from the experience. Yes, 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 yes. See again, all ninety-one. <laughs> okay, okay, this is fantastic. Okay, let's bring them to Veluca. Wajakala. Well, Ibdilis. 
Okay, dawn of a new day. Okay, let us save this. Save as. They're being raided. Ouch. Dumar. Etrusk. Okay, let's drop off these guys. Uh, so we're okay. Um, everybody's healed up. Uh, okay. Let's check the marketplace. See if there's anything interesting. Wine is oil should be cheap here because this is where the press is. No, wine is not that cheap. Wine is pottery. Uh, AL. Uh, I did not check on the arms. Tempered serenade arming sword. Balance war darts, strong war bow, large bag of bag of Kyrgyz arrows. How many do we have? Large bag of Kyrgyz arrows. I think we should buy that for our archers. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's head back. Enter the area. Manage the town. Okay, build a prisoner tower. Yes, go on. Oh, I forgot to do this. Okay. Uh, manage the garrison. No, we done that. Okay. Let's leave. Uh, I think we can uh, start recruiting Rodox from have this. Yeah, Pagundur. Serendior. Oh, this has been looted. Saren. Okay. Yeah, on the way back, about Chayas. Still, okay. Mm. Pork. Mm, yeah, I think, yeah. Leave. How many troops have he put up in the fort? Ergolon is now 59. That's called Serindior. Oh, yeah. We need to start thinking whom we want to um, promote or accept as vassals. So that, uh, oh, grapes, okay. Uh, recruit volunteers. So that uh, once, because if we're gonna take more castles, we need more vassals that don't have castles yet. So maybe it's time we go visit Dirim. See, this guy, I, I don't think this castle is well guarded. Jalkala itself might not be well guarded. Wow, what a, a very tempting. Okay, let's leave. Wow, who owns this? A Lord Nelag. Oh, yeah, we gave him. Uh, okay, so he's clustered together. So I hope he is doing something for his village. Uh, garrison. Uh, 
we are in a time of war do we want um, do we want to be training people while we're moving back and forth or you know it actually would make sense uh, so Sweden Knights are up to 90 91 uh, I think let's move this guy over no, no, just no, no. I think let's just take uh, Swedian um, Swedian skirmishers. Oh, Swedian recruits. Swedian skirmishers. Okay, let's take Swedian recruits then. Um, take all. Oh. Not even, ooh. Skirmishers, uh, we have Sweden skirmishers, I think. Sweden militia. Or maybe these are the guys we should be taking around. Okay, um, yeah, I think Sweden militia. Uh, let's give all, Lake take Sweden militia. 91, okay. So let's drag them all over the map, and then they should level up. Um, but we might need to buy some food, because if we're carrying around a lot of people... Okay, that should get us all the way to Dirim. Okay. Because I want to check who are the people in Dirim uh, th that we can actually uh, raise in or accept as vassals. And then we can start granting them uh, villages. But we need to wait until these things are fully repaired. Sarish. Okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, there goes our timer. So let me cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.